welcome. I'm Dr. Chelsea Starr and I'm your instructor for Introduction to Sociology here at Eastern New Mexico University in Portales. I'm speaking to you right now from Hallsboro, North Carolina, where I'm visiting my family, which you can see in the background. It's pretty green. I know that all of you are everywhere. You might be on a base. You might be there in Portales. You might be anywhere taking a class for the summer, and I really look forward to hearing from you. Feel free to post a video response to this, um, introducing yourself, maybe saying a little bit about the town that you're from, and if you don't have access to a video camera, um, feel free to do it on the Blackboard discussion. Um, and if you have both, do it on the Blackboard discussion and post a, a YouTube link. Um, you'll find the YouTube link for our course on the Blackboard page, and you'll be referring to it for a lot of stuff. One thing that I have learned in decades of teaching is that I always learn just as much from my students as they learn from me, and I look forward to that. And I look forward to learning from you all and your particular life experiences and how they fit in with our social world. So that we can have lively and useful discussions, I've got a couple of ground rules. Um, one of them is no profanity. We need to respect each other. And it needs to be a safe place where people can feel like they can voice their opinion without being jumped on. And so unless it specifically relates sociologically to what's being discussed, Let's keep the profanity out of it and stay respectful with one another and cultivate the atmosphere of a congenial learning community. That's what I'm after. There is no such thing as a stupid question here. Um, there are no put downs here. Um, there's learning here and that's what I'm after. The video lectures that I'll be posting are very important. Now there are notes that cover what the video lectures cover on Blackboard, um, but it's really no substitute for actually seeing the lecture um, because I will explain things in more depth than I can put in the notes. I'll get the nitty gritty in the notes, but I think you'll understand it better if you actually watch the lectures. They won't be that long um, because I know we're in a four week class. You've got a lot of work on you. Um, because of the nature of that, and so I've tried to, to structure things with that in account, but it's really important to watch the lectures. And then leave me video responses or discussion responses to the lecture. If you have questions, reactions, reactions are really important. Um, the material that's presented in sociology is like nothing that you have ever been trained in high school to recognize. It's a different way of thinking. It's analytical, it's conceptual, and it's going to feel weird at first. But that's okay. We'll get through it as long as you feel free to answer questions and give your honest opinion so that we can work through it. Um, conceptual thinking is, remember, this is a social science. And we're involved in conceptual thinking. And it's not something that's taught in high school in the social sciences. And so it's going to be a little different. But you'll get it. And once you get it, you're going to love it. Now, as far as course requirements, you know, what are the tests like, that kind of stuff, um, read the syllabus. Um, I give you a lot of info in the syllabus. I tell you exactly, you know, what's worth what many points. I'll tell you right now, discussion's very important, and you'll have multiple choice tests and a written project based on uh, your reaction to a video of your choice off of the YouTube channel. So those are the basics, but read the syllabus for the actual, you know, specifics. Okay. Now, we can't really have a meaningful discussion on our Blackboard discussion board unless everybody is really on the same page. And so for that reason, I'm going to be posting things up one week at a time. So you can't really read ahead because those foundational concepts, if you breeze through them, you're not really going to be ready for the next chapters. 
And so I'll be posting week one, week two, week three, and week four. And I want to have a really lively discussion. Discussion is part of your grade. And I want you to feel really free in that discussion. Sociologists are not interested in what is politically correct. We are interested in what people think and what is out there. So if it's out there, it's viable. As long as it's respectful, it's viable. And so I want to really have good discussions with you all. And that won't happen unless you get on there and read and discuss and we're all on the same page for the same week. That'll work. We Now here's the challenging news. We've got four weeks to get through a 16-week course. Now you're going to be covering the same material that somebody covers in an entire semester. That's a lot on you. Now I've tried to make it as, as uh, user-friendly and as student friendly as I possibly can, but it still ends up with a lot of reading for you. So my best suggestion is start reading day one. Uh, don't let it get behind. Keep up on your reading and keep on the discussion. And even if say, you know, I know people have jobs, people are, you know, in the military, people have kids, people have things to do, family obligations, work, I get it. I get it. I grew up like that too. I get it. But when you can, you know, even if you do slip on the reading, at least come into the discussion and participate so that you get a sense of what's going on. Um, that'll really help. It's not a substitute for reading, but it will really help you. You don't want to get behind. If you get behind, you'll start to feel hopeless and you'll drop out. And I don't want anybody in this class to not finish. I want you all to finish with a good grade and I will do everything I can to help you do it. Um, but you've got to manage your schedule somehow to get the work in. That's your part of it. Um, I look forward to getting to know you all, all of you. I can't wait for your introductions. Um, Again, you can leave them as a reply here on the Facetube channel, the YouTube channel, or you can put them on the Blackboard channel. So this is Dr. Chelsea Starr, your instructor, signing off for the introduction to the course. And the next thing that you should be going to is lecture one. Thank you. See you then.